exist. Apologies for the late start. Let's see. Can I get myself to move it away? No. Okay. I think that looks okay for the camera. Do do do. All right. Now we just need to connect this. Yay! And I also need to. But yeah. Sorry. So I am an hour late from my usual start time. I. My only excuse is I fell asleep at it. I I got sleepy and napped for too long. Okay, I think everything is good. Also, hopefully my streams will be smoother now as I have gotten the cord I needed to plug my computer in to the ethernet. So, alright, so I was being avoided because I didn't want to deal with Dorgas cave. But I'm ready to go. Dorga. Come this way. Un and I have prepared something for you. Apparently, they have prepared a whole spooky cake. It's Dorga's voice. Leave this cave and come to Un and me. Like, I just feel like it's kind of rude. Like, did you have to send me through a cave maze full of monsters? It just feels rude. All my people are like low key injured. Also, rude that these guys were first. Let's just do that. I certainly am realizing I could have healed because I had. No, no, I had the wrong airship. So that's why I couldn't. But that's fine. Hoping there's not like a boss fight at the end of this. And I'm just going all in on the powerful magic. Woo! Thanks, Leviathan! There we go. Alright. Johnny's in much better shape now. from the last time I messed this up to save at least every floor. Or rather, I am remembering.
Yeah, alright. Sunflowers? At least everything here is like... Like it will help you. Sorry. Okay, okay, I see. I was trying to interpret some stuff on the map that was confusing. sense. It's just there was something on the map that was like a dead end. Like there's a door but it's called dead end and I was just trying to like it was so unusual I was trying to interpret around it. So it all makes sense now though I figured out where the other thing what meant what on the map and I'm all good. Sure. It's kind of funny how the summoning is very unpredictable. But you know what? I fought hard against the Leviathan and Muhammad, and so I am gonna keep being a conjurer until I get summoner, and then I'll be a summoner. Um, 
Yes, I was going this way. And I'm also just kind of like, hey, Dorga, what's going on with your cave? That there's a... That there's, like, bones? Humanoid-looking bones? And also, like, chests full of barriers? Like, are we gonna need barriers for something? And another barrier. What is the game saying that it is giving me four barriers? Alright, almost at the end of the monster phase. damage to Tapau and unconfused. Honestly, I'm gonna keep using Ifrit because, like, the occasional healing is kinda useful. character saying what, as well as me saying what. Dorga. Listen, long ago, weapons too powerful for people to handle were sealed in Eureka. But now those weapons are necessary! And to make the key to enter Eureka, the energy of our battle is needed. 
No matter what you say, Dorga, Oon, there's no way we could fight you. Dorga. You stubborn fools! Then how about this? Defeat me or die! What the heck? Has Dorga always looked like that? That's... I'm going to assume that that is not the case, and that Dorga took on a terrifying appearance for the fight. Because I feel a little weird about the idea that we've been talking to a guy that looks like that the whole time. I'm not over how creepy Dorga looks. Like, intensely creepy. Whoa, what? Alright, I guess we're just gonna go full assault and hope for the best. Rude? Drain? Rude? Oh, whoops. Leviathan actually did not do damage that time. Alright, well, I guess we'll keep using Ifrit for backup healing.
appreciate you very much. Oh man. Um Yeah. Nah, I mean I I do have like I know of three channels that automatically post that I'm going live. Um, I'd say if you're getting the main mo notification, like you can certainly mute the channel that is on my other Discord, probably, and then mute the channel that just has my live notifications, and keep the one that has everyone's. That's what I would recommend. Alright, so we're fighting Dorga, which is, like, suddenly looks incredibly creepy. And things are not going particularly well. Rude! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The Conjurer KO animation is so cute, though! Oh no, that's so cute! Just... But yeah, no, we're trying. Like, the problem is that Tapau got paralyzed, and I realized I don't really have anything that can deal with a paralysis. Maybe Elixir can, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> no! I just have nothing that can deal with the uh, petri petrification, which is very unfortunate. I will have, you know what, Puka will use green. It will be great. That is how Puka will heal. Ineffective? How come they get to use Dra- Oh no, now Puka. Alright, well, Johnny, let's see if you can solo this. What? Shoot, we have to hit- we have to do Dorga and then Un? Uh-oh. Dorga, don't die! Un, next is my turn! No, Un! We don't want to fight! Un. Oh, don't whine! Even if my body dies, my soul will not perish! Now let's go. Oh, boy. And once again, I just- I- I- I don't know that that- that Un looks- mm. Alright, so we're in bad shape and it definitely did not give us time to do anything about it in between. Two of us are petrified and I just- I still just don't have a way to deal with petrify. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh... uh Cause I just- the petrification is just real bad luck because the only person who can fix it is Tapau, and Tapau was the first one who went down. And it didn't give me time in between to like change someone's job so they could also fix it. You know what? We're gonna just do our best. That's gonna that's gonna do it. Yeah, alright. We're gonna load. Thankfully, I saved here. And uh, now that I know that we're fighting Dorga and Un, I'm gonna prepare a little better. Unfortunately, I don't have a second one of these things. If nothing else, I think heal cures everything. I think there's also a spell that's like soft, but I don't think I have it on me. Or a spell that has the same effect as soft, but I don't know what it is and I don't have it on me. So we're 
we're just gonna have to hope that luck is on our side this time and Tapao will not get knocked out first by the petrification. Or at all. Because everything would have been fine if Tapao had not been the one to get petrified. Oof. Alright, and we're gonna use... We're gonna heal up a bit. Yes, exactly. A very load bearing to Pao. When the healer goes down to a status effect, there's just that only the healer can cure. It just doesn't go well. Also, now that I know that we're fighting Dorga and then Un immediately after, it is also a good, like, okay, save a few spells. Like, don't use up all of the Leviathan spells. For example, ah, nope, there was no such thing as running from the boss fight. Not what I meant to do. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not just use magic. Let's, uh, or rather use arrow too. Let's start with a haste on Johnny. Leviathan just did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Ha! Quake back at ya. Alright, if Ifrit is going to do as much damage as Leviathan, then I'm gonna use Ifrit, who will sometimes heal us. Since low level magic seems to be doing like the same as high level magic, we will move even lower on the spell list for my conjurer. Also do that for Puka. Oh, or we'll just defeat Yay! Oh man, haste is, is... Haste is great. Alright, now we are in a way better position to follow up with the fight with Oon. Leviathan is more effective against him. And let's first thing use haste on Johnny again. And yeah, just use up the quakes. Still not a lot of damage, but like, you know, slightly more damage than the lower level spells, presumably. Actually, Leviathan did decent comparative damage here. Oh boy, that spell that puts people at the verge of, like, falling is pretty bad. Okay. But this time, we have Tapao, who as long as can heal Johnny before Johnny gets hit again. Should be fine? Oh, 
Wait, what? No! The last Leviathan spell didn't do damage. Oh well. So weird that they just turned into monsters to fight us. Uh, Alright, I guess. Back to using it for you. because I'm pretty sure there won't be anyone we have to fight before we can heal again after... waste a high potion that's not the end of the world, so I'll, like, have Puka use a high potion in hopes that the cow slows all the doors. Yay, it did! Yay! Now it's just a little silly to have wasted the Phoenix Town. I should have not done that. That's fine. may die, our souls will not be lost. Now, go to the tower protected by the four statues. The Silks Tower. You must stop the one who is trying to summon the darkness. Sand. I feel safe knowing the duty is in your hands. The entrance to Eureka is in the Silks Tower. Bye, Dorga. Take this. It's the Silks Key. The key that opens the sealed door in the Silks Tower. I'll always be watching over you. I'm counting on you. Oon! Received Silks Key. Alright, well that sucks. Let's uh, exit on out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Why is none of them hit to pow? We're fine. And impressively, none of them did. But yes, no, the problem is that, uh,. We're still in the airship that we don't actually get to heal in because it's the only one that could actually get to Dorga's house. So now we have to get back to the original airship. Oh, although I didn't actually check if, the, if we could have healed at Dorga's house now. I think it's definitely worth checking. Can we just 
normally go to Dorga's house now? Yay! We can! Let's go talk to the Moogles and get some healing. Hello, Moogle friends. Oh, they're all gonna be sad now. How could Sir Dorga and Lady Moon die? Stop! I need to buy a couple of these. Because that was terrible. Is there anything else that would completely prevent a power from healing? Nah, probably fine. Uh, do they all just say the same thing? Yes. that doesn't have the, the stuff in it. Mostly I just hate this little corridor that I have to go down and monsters will attack me the whole time. Ha! Ah, Alright, well, Chocobo at least let us escape. <laughs> oh, I want freedom! a big fan of being prevented from moving around an overworld area. Oh, in fact, speaking of overworld, let's pull up that map. It's this one.
Egypt. Okay. Finally. Relative freedom. We still have to get to the other place. Ship, but... Alright. Much better. Alright. One thing I want to check is... Do a quick lie in bed. Ah, slept well. Alright, I'm gonna remove the spare magic from Pingu because it's just kind of distracting on the lower levels. Exit can go to Johnny, as can the lower level cure. I don't know if Johnny can use air magic, but also doesn't have to because... Alright, and then... Hmm, I wonder. Yay! Puka can hold on to the other cure. Alright. Oh, and then I was thinking I should sell some of this stuff. I just don't think I need barriers. Um, I guess I'll hold on to it just in case, but usually these don't work very well. Uh, I think maybe this one is also in a well. You know what, I just don't really use these, so selling them is more effective anyway. We just, we want to fly, not leave the airship. Okay. We are going, let's see. Straight this way. On our big old giant ship. And here's those statues. Oh, is this saying we have to walk? Rude. Alright, I guess we have one last chance to do stuff with our uh, what I wanted to do. If what I'm trying to do is working. No, yeah, okay. Airship cannot get past. Oh, well, maybe once I destroy all the statues. I can take the ship with me. Yay! Okay. Slow going, but having a portable in with me is worth it. Oh, and plus I need the ship. Okay, at the end of this I need the ship to get past that last one. Cool, so I'm not just being unreasonable by trying to drag my whole airship. Boop. Yay! Cannon blast from the airship! Really 
just don't want to waste anything terribly important. Yay, there we go! One, one low level magic spell did the trick. Everyone fight with the anticipation that Johnny will actually take. You know, this is making me think that I should maybe bring some extra armor in case I run out of spells and need to change. What? Really? Two steps? No. I refuse. I am not fighting something that I ran into after two steps. Whenever I play after Final Fantasy 3, I think I need it. I need a break from random encounters. Bye. All right. So, you know what? Honestly, if I'm like fussing about if I'm gonna use things, I can always just drop them off in the chocobo instead of selling them. Although I do wonder if the white scent is like something that would let me avoid monsters. Okay, those get kept. Those need to get kept. I so probably don't even need the carrots in the inventory anymore. But... Let's grab... Uh, let's grab stuff to be a magic knight, I think. Um, yeah, if I've got spares for it. I might have sold the spare swords, oh no. Oh dear, I might have. Yes, you did mention that, Johnny. Although for for this time slot, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with NES or similarly old school games for a little longer. So, I mean, I guess I could always grab the stuff to. Ugh, I guess the thing that I really want to know is exactly which armor goes with which glasses. So hang on one sec, I'll leave the pleasant music up. Alright, uh, da -da -da -da. 
are there NES games? I mean, Johnny, think about it. Have any of the games I've played until now had random encounters? Crystalis doesn't have random encounters. You can see the monsters. Kirby doesn't have random encounters because it's just not that kind of game. I don't have to play RPGs. Dragon Warrior did have random encounters, but it was always with single monsters, so it wouldn't take as long. I did get a little fed up with that one as well, though. So there are absolutely NES games, plus all the Zelda games. Uh, if I go into, like, later than NES and, like, because I was thinking, like, SNES and Game Boy probably would also fit my nostalgia corner. Oh, hello, Elhawk! Thank you so much for the raid! Uh, Johnny, could you do a shout-out? Um, I'm just trying to decide what I should take with me so that I can turn one of my characters back into a fighter if I need. Or if I, I feel like I'm running low on magic. Do -do -do. You know what? I know for a fact I'll be getting new jobs soon, so... Maybe I will just grab a couple things at random. And then we'll buy a couple extra things from here. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, thanks for popping in, Elha. It's very appreciated. Alright, so we're gonna just grab one of that, and... Uh... I guess one of that, and one of that. Because I'm really at a point where I don't feel like I need to save money anymore, so... And then we'll... I can't remember if I already slept in the in-bed... So we're gonna do a very quick one of that. Alright. Now we shall leave the fancy airship, alas. And go into this fancy area, which I think I have a map for. Let's see. Yes! Excellent. Yes, good. Okay. Oh! Well, or I can just be handed the Earth Crystal immediately and be able to upgrade all of my jobs right now, meaning I can head back to my ship and re-equip. It's the Earth Crystal! Under the orders of Sir Zand, I shall bury you in the darkness! Oh, oh, really? Oh, really? No, okay, I was about to say. I was really afraid that it was gonna just, like, drop me somewhere else so I couldn't actually get the crystal, but I overreacted. Alright, let's just go straight for Bahamut since I'm hoping I can even hit my airship after this. Oh, oh, I should have done haste. I keep forgetting haste is a thing. Let's see what Bahamut does, though. Okay, uh, I guess I don't need to use haste. Because Bahamut, rather than attacking, used haste on everyone. That's fine. Ah, oh, yes! Johnny's doing so much more damage. Excellent. Oh, that does even more damage than Quake, so I think I'll stick with that.
should just be a matter of time with Johnny doing such high damage. Leviathan's alternate his, uh, ability is not very useful. I very much hope to get that Earth Crystal shortly so I can do this, be the summoner. Oh, no, no. We do need your healing would not go amiss for Johnny. Fire! Even more. Yay! We have defeated Titan! Victory! Presumably a different Titan than the one we've been summoning this whole time. Hello, Earth Crystal! Light warriors, one called Zand is abusing my power to plunge the world into darkness. Take the power which lies within me and rid this world of the dark cloud. Received jobs from the crystal of Earth. Aw, yeah. The Silk's Tower was built by concentrating the power of light. Zand is trying to summon the dark cloud there using our power. Light warriors, go to the Silk's Tower and stop the Demon King's end! The crystal is shedding its light silently. Light warriors, bring hope back to this world! Sounds good to me. And now, we're gonna go back to the airship and go on a job spree! Okay, first I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, can I save from... Um, and now we need to unequip everyone. Do -do. And then... I mean, I might end up leaving Johnny as a as a magic knight, but we'll, I, I can't quite remember what the jobs are, so we'll, we'll take a look at all of them. And I know I'm upgrading all of the magic types, so. Job! Be a proper summoner! Yes! And Tapau can finally get the next level white mage! And Puka can get the next level black mage! Woo! Everyone's all fancy. And I was right, these are all magic classes, so I'm not gonna change Johnny after all. Let's see. Oh, I don't have a... Huh. That's funny. I'll have to get one. Oh, and uh, a thing to put on head, I mean. Alright, that. I was attaching that on purpose. And then that. And do you have any headwear? Yes, you do. And a white robe, of course. And... Diamond's probably fine. Okay. And then Puka! put something on and then I take it off by accident. Alright. Do I have a second? Yes. Flame Staff. Okay, I should also remember that I have, like, a bonus to lightning and fire magic with Puka. And then Johnny gets all his old equipment back. Whoops. <laughs> Johnny, as it turns out, is still useful as a magic knight. Alright! Do do do. Oh, okay. And let's see what we've got here. I 
feel like it was probably silly to buy the Defender Sword, but that's fine. And over here... Oh wait, no, not buy it. Well, no, no, I did want to just see if... Oh, I like how the- sorry, I just got distracted by how their little head things are turn on and off. Alright. And... Maybe sell back that diamond. And, you know, I'll hold on to it just in case. Let's see, did I keep the carrots? Yes, I did. I remember there being a... Yes, I can give my new summoner, Pengu, a helmet. Alright, I think I am all prepared. I wonder if... Yeah, you know what? Tapau's new class is cuter. Uh, Puka is, is pretty cute too, but yeah, we'll 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 walk around as Tapau's class for a bit. For maximum oh, and also I should go do a proper save because that was a significant upgrade. Woo! And now we go. Explore the ancient ruin. Oh, that's so cute with the little ears on the hood. Alright, let's see what happens when I summon things now. Oh, there's a higher level of magic? Or... interesting. I will get new spells. Oh, that was even an ex a cute little attack mode. right at the beginning, and then I don't have to go all the way back through. Because <laughs> I upgraded all those jobs, and I'm just realizing that um, zero in the uh, in the uh, top level magic slot doesn't have to exist! Because I can stay at the inn. And then have that top level magic slot ready to use when I get top level magic. Hopefully. Let's try this again. Ha! <laughs> Missed. Man, their MP slots have gone up so much, it's great. Okay, these guys. Um, I don't remember if 
any of my other summons actually do group damage. Maybe I should start them from the bottom up and figure out what they do now since I have a new class. Ice damage, nice, nice. All right. Easy peasy. Always nice. Starting at the bottom, going back up. So let's find out what Chocobo does now, and if it involves running, well, that's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, whoops. I did not make a single target that, but that's fine. Should take it right out. Chocobo attacks the enemy now. Chocobo kick! Let's just do another Chocobo kick because at this point it feels a little silly. Uh, if I have time to get it off, sure, why not? Um, I want to go through all of my fires. Let's use some fire too. Thanatos, which is clearly a Dulahan, except that in, you know, in typical Dulahan fashion, it's holding its own head, but, uh, the horse is also headless. That's a, that's a new take. Or an unexpected take. Alright, so I know what Chocobo does, I know what Shiba does, what is wrong with you? attack because I have concerns about the fact that it has hit us from behind. Yeah. 
well, that's fine. We can use you. It is a worthwhile cause to de petrify. Oh, bye, Mom! Thanks for stopping in! All right, and then, sorry, I just want to have that up. Okay. And now we go and try again with it. Just this reason. In fact, specifically, I got a bunch of socks so that I would not be in the problem of oh no, how is petrified blood by you? that I have a billion on to just get people back at that last little bit. Oh, oops. The power is not available, so it switched down to dummy. down to the low-level spells, but we're still pretty certain to take them out. Oh! You know what? If they don't go down this round, then that was me misjudging. Nope! I was totally not misjudging. <laughs> Oh, 
whole crystal set already. Getting somewhat like the distance. Alright, we're gonna keep the triple book kicking. Oh, actually, you know what? Um. Uh, no, cure two on self. That's what I'm so excited about the leveled up uh, skill, the job. Because they are really just clearly superior. enough to take him down at one Maybe we don't got this. Thank you, Johnny. Oh no, but speaking of Johnny, poor in-game Johnny is down for the count. Thank you for bat hammering. We're gonna go, uh, push a little, uh, it's fine. You're all better in-game. to me to check if perhaps your character can use this fancy new armor we've been picking up. Why, in fact? Yay! Fancy new armor! 
That should help you prevent your character from getting one shot. Oh, a bone dragon. Fascinating. I really wonder if Cure would work on it since it's undead, but I don't want to risk it, so... Fire was very effective, so that's nice. Lightning was less effective, but fire was so effective that it was enough to solve the problem. Staff that is called Ultimate. Let's uh, probably put that on Puka. Don't know what it means, but eh, we have it now. Wait, does uh. Do you have two staves? Yes. I just add. That's probably fine. Actually, maybe it would make sense because Ifrit is higher level, so we'll switch that to the flame staff. Or no, no, it's a lightning staff that I give him. Okay, ice and lightning, that's fine. Alright, I feel like pulling out Ifrit was more than was necessary for fighting this, so back down to slightly lower level approaches. I do feel like mayhaps Puka's magic attack has, has gone up overall. Possibly even more so with that level up. Oh, two of them. Time to finally take advantage of how many of my summons do multiple damage. Multiple creature damage. I feel like maybe fire actually is more effective. See if ice is effective. Oh, uh, ice was not very effective, but that's okay. Oh shoot, I forgot to heal Johnny up. Alright, uh, well that's gonna be what Cow does.
Amazingly, all of my magic users are going before Johnny now. <laughs> I guess because he's the only one I didn't upgrade to a new job level, but that's because there were no attack jobs in the new job level. Alright. Okay, I will fight these dragons, but I'm gonna be right back. Uh, so I do plan, since I started an hour late, I'm gonna go an hour later than I normally, so I do plan to go till four. Um, so I will come back and still be playing, but for just a moment, I will be right back. Alright, I am returned. Uh, man, it gets dark early this time of year. Wasn't even noticing, but I will turn on my light. Do -do -do. And now let's fight these bone dragons. Nice to see you. We are fighting dragons. I think I'm in the like final stretch of this game, so. Because this is the second to last set of jobs. finished cleaning our kitchen floor, which was super exciting. And by super exciting, I mean, like, like, anyone who has seen our kitchen in the last year will understand what I mean when I say it is really exciting that our kitchen floor is almost entirely free of debris. We just both have this bad habit of, like, you know, we bring in shopping bags, we leave them on the floor, <laughs> stuff like that. Shapes hmm. Alright. Oh, one sec. I am actually, I know I just did a BRB, but like, uh, Tom just got home from a, uh, from a doctor's appointment, and I just want to check how that went. So, this should only be very, very quick. Alright. I am returned. Sorry, I forgot to put on the music, but, uh, yes, and also, I did say hi. Tom says hi back. Um, and everything is enough. <laughs> uh, not to be TMI, but like he has a, a very minor issue that is not a major health concern, but will need a procedure to do, be done about it. So. Alright, let's finish off this oh. Dagron. Actually, you know what? Just in case Pinku goes first. It is silly when there's only one of them left and we've already done a lot of damage to waste a higher level summon. Lowest level magic is still pretty effective. I should remember that. I got like 30 of that spell. Oh, let me just pull the map back up. I tabbed off of it. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, okay. Had to remember where I was on said map. Oh, 
Oh no! Attacked from behind! Generally. Oh, good. They attacked the knight who is in the back row. Alright, this, this calls for slightly higher level magic. I don't want to waste the slot where I can use haste, though, so... Oh, and I forgot to cure before... Oh, I... You know what? That's... I'll just do the group cure three. It'll be fine. Do a fire three since we've been surprised and fire is definitely Puka's most powerful ability right now. Nice. Alright, between Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. If Reed is powerful? more concerned than I need to be. But we are going to, this time I am going to remember to heal up. Alright. Much better. Oh no. These guys hit hard if I recall correctly, especially for the Very powerful full three. Because light in this case is lightning, of course. Alright, well, that's one down. And that's the other down. Very nice. Almost at the end. And I think uh, that is going to be a perfect place to end, actually, to, to end the stream, actually, is getting to the end of this labyrinth. Staff to use the higher, slightly higher level. Ah, oh, dang! If we MVP that. Oh, 
myself in between. I sure don't want to walk back through all of this. Alright. Oh, no, that didn't take it down. Okay, well, it should be pretty low health, so I'm not going to waste any more empty. Like, I'm just expecting that Johnny will be. Oh my gosh, 20 hit points took it down. Amazing. Kuka just went, funk! And then it, like, dropped immediately. We are outside, but cannot get to our poor little airship. Well, interestingly enough, I can save here. But, sadly cannot heal up. Because, uh, tragically, there is no summon airship ability that I'm aware of. <laughs> Be nice if there was, but... And I am not about to go back through that entire labyrinth just to heal. Yeah, because then I'll fight, I'll run into tons of monsters in between and it will be very annoying. Um, so yeah, so we will save here and call that, call it good for this stream. And I think I already did this, but because I can't remember 100%, let's do it again. And yeah, alright. So thank you everyone, thank you to Johnny for hanging out this whole time, thank you for my mother for popping in, and Andrew for popping in, and also Elhawk for the raid, and also a little lurking, and thank you anyone else who might have been hanging out and watching. And I should be back tonight, if uh, hopefully with uh, Johnny and or Puka, and I think we might be playing Pink and Penguin Heisting again. So, hope to see some folks there. And if not, then hopefully um, whenever I do my... I should be doing a Scarlet Hollow stream either tomorrow or the day after. TBD. Um, and then my normal Cinderella phenomenon on Monday. And my schedule for the next week should be as usual. Alright, then. Thank you everyone for hanging out, and thank you anyone who watches this later. I appreciate you all very much, and I will see you later.